I know Travis is down in Fountain right now talking to you about the Jayco J Feather trailer. I'm here in Windish Lakewood. My name is John Bueller. I'm here to talk to you about the Grand Design Imagine. This floor plan is a 2800BH. And I just want to tell you about a few things they do different. They will give you a three year warranty on the frame and the slides. Partly why they're able to give you that warranty is when you go to other products, I want you to hit the side of the slide wall. You'll notice most of them are going to flex. They're not, it's not going to feel solid. Grand Design builds their slide walls the same way they build their side walls. It's laminated fiberglass designed to bounce down the road, be all one piece. The more solid you can make a trailer going down the road, the longer it's going to last you because this thing is like an earthquake on wheels. On the other side of the trailer here, full pass through storage. On each side, they are going to give you motion sensor lighting. So late at night, when you're trying to grab things out or put things in, you don't have to fumble around trying to find that light switch. It's going to turn on for you. They are going to give you oversized grab handles, not only on the entry door, but also on the bedroom door. Most will only give you one. You do have an electric awning, LED light strip that runs the full length of the awning. And you do have a five-year warranty on the tires, five-year warranty on that, those Dexter axles. Also have five-year warranty on the graphics. Moving into the outside kitchen, give you the mini fridge, two burner cooktop, propane quick connect underneath, so you can use a cooktop, any other grill, plug in your outside patio heater on a cooler day, um, all right there, run off your front tanks. Here we are in front of the Jayco Jayfeather 27 BHB. Right up front, we got the power tongue jack. We got the bigger 30 pound LP bottles. We've got a molded fiberglass front cap here. And a big thing I talk about with Jayco's is the safety that they implement on different levels of the trailer, starting with the lighting system and how it connects with your tow of vehicles uh, turn signals. So this has what's called smart lighting, which is side marker and reverse travel. It basically connects when you make a right turn, indicate right, it'll flash these lights, the lights on the top and the rear, the bottom and the rear, and then your side markers. Just in case there's a visibility issue, everybody's going to be able to know what your intentions are here. We've got a very large pass-through storage here. The Jayco Jayfeather 27 BHB has a 21-foot awning. You've got outdoor TV hookups, a bracket already here, as well as the cable satellite hookups and 110. All Jayco's use the Goodyear Endurance tires, which have the highest speed and load rating tire uh, of any tire on the market. They're made in America. This is your outdoor kitchen here. Comes with an actual grill. I like how they build everything out of galvanized steel in here. And I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't point out the bottle opener on the side here and the extra fridge. This is the door to the bathroom. All right, now we're on the inside of the Imagine 2800 BH. They do give you the oversized bunk beds with the ladder. They give you the half flip up here for the bottom bunk for ice chests, small bicycles, we've got generator, dog crates, any of that stuff that you don't want to keep in the truck or don't have room for, you do have room here. And it drops down quite easily. So is one little pull of a lever. They do give you AC ducting over the top bunk, where it's usually the hotter bunk. So people fight for the bottom bunk because of that reason. Here with the AC on, even with the curtain closed, you're going to stay nice and cool. They also give you two windows, one for nice viewing of your beautiful campsite, but also going to give you better airflow and all that. As we go around to the side here, you have quite a bit of pantry storage, clothes storage, dog food storage, whatever storage you could think of. You got a place for whatever you need. They also give you sturdy Euro hinges, the same type of hinges Airstream uses. They use them for a reason. Grand Design is going to give you the best type of hardware so you don't fall apart going down the road. They put your stereo as your one piece convenience center for your DVD player, stereo. This does do Bluetooth. It is made by Furion, which is built for RV and yachting for all the bouncing, temperature changes, heat changes. That is a lot uh, more of a sturdy system you're going to even see in your car. The TV, which is a smart TV, does come with the trailer. It's made to articulate, so if you are viewing it from the dinette area when you're enjoying your food, it also will flip all the way around the wall, so whoever's in the bunk area can also view the TV when they're sleeping. They do give you the largest single setup fridge. It's eight cubic feet. The dinette here, which is becoming more and more common, is the horseshoe dinette. 
you see more people around. A lot of times though with the horseshoe dinette, and do yourself a favor if you're shopping, sit at the horseshoe dinette and see a lot of times this person on the back, it's, you can't really feed two people there. You can't even really feed two people on this one because you get knees banging and things like that. Here, they do something quite special in the Imagine. I haven't seen this in any other trailer I've sold over the years. One of the table removes, that's nothing too special there. We slide that out of the way, and this back portion, of course this makes into a bed, this back portion easily comes out. So now, if we replace the table, which again, nice, lightweight, easy to do, you can easily sit two people side by side, even people that are a little wider than me, I'm kind of skinny. But you can also comfortably seat another one or two people on this side. So it doesn't render that back part useless. Also give you a nice little bit of storage. Again, they think of everything. Now we're in the living room of the Jayco Jayfeather 27 BHB. Uh, right as we come in through the door here, I love this little area that they put in. You're able to sit down, put your shoes on. We have some extra storage down below, more storage up above here. Uh, and a place to hang your coats. In here we've got a really large storage area. You can remove these shelves and just use this as more of a hanging space if you prefer that. Same with the bottom, this shelf is also removable. We've got very nice deep kitchen drawers here. And these are all gonna come with the drying rack and the cutting board for the sink. As well as some extra storage down below in here. We've got the Furion oven with the glass top. The glass top does move out of the way and acts like a splash guard. And they do have a knife holder right behind that. Over here, we've got the six cubic foot fridge. And then back here, this is gonna be our entertainment area. Even more storage up here. And then below here is uh, kind of a secret hidden storage for electronic devices or if uh, mom and dad want to store their booze back here. All right, over here. With Jayco's, I always like to talk about the quality of the materials that they use and how everything's overbuilt. So a great example of that is gonna be our bunk beds. So with Jayco bunk beds, they're gonna be 600 pound rated for the double bunks. Uh, Generally, most manufacturers only rate their double bunks to 300 pounds. What that means is, you know, if mom or dad wants to get in with the bunk to read a bedtime story, you don't need to worry about crashing through the bottom or anything like that. They're overbuilt. Uh, they're all built out of plywood. You won't find any piece of OSB or particle board anywhere in these trailers here. Uh, the mats are also a little bit thicker here as well, which I like, you know, because if uh, the kids get a good night's sleep, everybody's happy here. So uh, moving over here, this is what we call modern farmhouse, is the option that we have here. Looks great with the gray uh, furniture, very modern, very chic. Uh, that's one of my favorite things about this, this trailer is just purely uh, superficial there, looks, uh, looks amazing. So over here, your dinette also drops into a bed. You've got storage underneath. You're gonna find that your bunk or your uh, dinette mats are quite a bit thicker as well. You, when you sit down on them, you don't feel like you're just sitting on the plywood base below it, so. Now we're in the bathroom of the Imagine 2800BH. First thing I wanna point out is you do have a reinforced shower pan. If you ever go and look at competitive products, step into the shower, you'll see it will flex, and over time that plastic can break, especially if you're a little heavier than I am. With that 81 inch ceiling, again, you do have more headroom in the shower. Taller people aren't going to have to crouch down or have their head in the bubble. The shower curtain is one of those where it's not going to blow in and stick to you, which is never fun. It's the same Airstream utilizes. It automatically squeegees off any water. It's mold and mildew resistant, so you don't have to worry about that. And when it's open, it's out of the way. You do have a ton of storage in the bathroom as well. All the storage for your toiletries, extra washcloths, things like that. You have storage underneath the sink as well as a stainless steel sink instead of a cheap plastic one they'll usually give you. And you have a medicine cabinet that you can actually open, close, you can actually use instead of just a mirror on the wall. All the little things a lot of other companies either forget or hope you forget that they don't give you, Grand Design's gonna give you right out of the gate. Oh, welcome back guys. 
Now we're in the bathroom of the 27 BHB and it really is a highlight of this floor plan here. We've got a nice large shower tub combo. And over here, we've got some extra storage up, up above. We've got a nice two hand sink with extra countertop space for toothbrushes. And the biggest thing that I like about this trailer is going to be the door that accesses the bathroom from outside here. That way the kids aren't tracking through the entire trailer to get in here. You don't have mud prints coming in here. They can just go straight in, straight out. So now we're in the bedroom of the Imagine 2800 BH. First thing I want to point out is they give you storage everywhere they can in the trailer. Some won't give you these bottom cabinets. Some will give you these top cabinets and give you enough headroom. Here they give you everything. They give you reading lights. You could do in two different colors. They give you a full-size queen bed. Most trailers, especially in this class, will give you the RV short queen. So it's going to be the same width, but five or six inches shorter. So if you can find them, you got to buy special sheets. And if you're a little bit taller, your feet would be hanging over, which is never fun for anybody. But here, just like at home, residential size queen, 60 by 80. They also give you room to walk around the bed, even in the front here. A lot of trailers are trying to save space. They'll put this wall right up against the foot of the bed, which again, if you're a little bit taller and you have the short queen, they're gonna be right up against it. It's not very much fun. Welcome to the bedroom of the Jayco Jayfeather 27 BHB. A big highlight is they use a Serta mattress that's very comfortable here. We're gonna have extra storage below this as well. We've got nice size closets on either side here. And they do a really cool thing with the lighting. We've got individual lights here and here and then a softer ambient blue light below that you can turn on and off for each side individually. All right, guys, you see the Jayco J Feather? You've seen the grand design Imagine. Which one would you rather have in your campsite? Now, who do you think did the best? You decide. Let us know in the comments below.